Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode 12 of our Unity Make an RPG series, and today I'm going to cover our loading and saving information. I'm going to continue to cover what we uh, started last time. So just a quick reminder what we did last time. Uh, we set up two scripts, our load and save information scripts, and we have it set up so that you can create a class and create a name and hit create and it saves our information. Now there's one problem with this and what I want you guys to do is open our load information and save information and create new character scripts and go into model develop. The problem that the first problem or the problem that we have is that we're saving information that's being that we're all the information that we're saving when we call this save all information is actually in our game information object or in script stored in these public static variables but when we when we create our character we're not we haven't actually put them there so it doesn't see it so what we need to do and we'll do it in a function is go private void and then we'll just say store new player info and what this will do is we're gonna store when we hit create we'll call this function and we're just gonna store our new player name our, our player name all that information into our game information script so that when we call our save all information it will actually save it uh, properly so what, we, what you need to do is in this store new player info you go game information dot player name is equal to new player dot name player name and we're gonna go in here and we're gonna do that for all of our um, for all the things we created so I'm actually gonna come up here and select new player level and our stats so I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna erase a few things You can do that. You can uh, fast forward through the video if you need to, but I'm just going to do this real quick. And instead of name, it's going to be level. So here I just said game information dot player level is equal to new player dot player level. Exactly what we want. Going to come in here. Going to erase this. Change it to stamina. Go in here. A lot of copying, pasting, and coding, but it's okay. It's good practice, I think. And then strength. And then I think, since we're not going to be saving our, uh, in the next video, I'm going to cover serialization. And so right now we're not saving our class, which isn't a huge problem yet but we definitely want to cover that because it's going to allow you guys to really expand a lot of your projects uh... so let me game information we have yep okay so in our create a character we created a new in our create new character we created a function called store new info information and what it's going to do is all the new information we have here we're going to put immediately into our game information object and then when we call save all information we'll save the information properly so above save information dot save all information, go type in store player info, and uh, type call the function, and that should be done. And so we'll go, we'll just go to Unity, make sure that we don't have any issues. Control save, no no problems. So that's good. Now what we're gonna do is I create an if statement down here, just comment it out. This is what you guys need to do: is create a new button, GUI layout dot button, and type in load. And then we're going to load a new scene. And the way you load a new scene is application.loadLevel and then the name of that scene. In this case, the scene name is tset, a misspelled test. So I'm going to control S, go to Unity. And you need to add the scenes that we have to our building setting, our build settings. So go to build settings and you can just drag and drop the scenes into the scenes in build. And what this will allow us to do is when we hit the load button that shows up, it will allow us to load that level. So I'm going to press play and you'll see the button pop up. And I'm going to create a new character and I'm going to name it test. I'm going to hit create. So right away we saved all the information and then we displayed that information. Now I want to prove to you guys that we actually saved that information. So when we start this script again, so 
So when we start the yeah, so when we start the script again, I'm going to just hit load. And I created a script, and this is what I want you guys to do, that loads the information from our game object. Right here. So go into Unity and create a new C sharp script. I just label it T set script so I could attach it to in our T set scene. Went into the start function and I called our load information dot load all information. So it's gonna load so what that does, if we go back to what when we wrote it last time, it's we're saving all of our information from the player press area into our game information object. So now I'm gonna go back to Unity, I'm gonna press play, and I'm gonna hit load. And we should have all the information from our character last time, and we do. And so you can see that the information actually saved. So if I I'm gonna clear you know, I'm gonna leave this up so we can compare it. I'm gonna press play. Instead of creating a new character, I'm going to hit load, and you can see that it loaded the character from memory, and that's exactly what saving does. And player, what, just to go over, just to let you guys know, player press is good for very simple saves for not a lot of information. But when you start having a ton of information, you need to start looking at different, like other options and saving your information. So look at serialization, which I'm going to start covering uh, in the next video. Here's a script so. Here's a script that kind of starts covering what we're going to do. But basically, we're going to start converting all information into a, a binary string, and then we're going to save that string to a save file, and then access that save file. But for now, I just wanted to cover the basics of saving and loading under player prefs and show you that we're not, that when we load a new scene, when we load a new scene, we're loading the information. It's our game information object is still staying with us. And that's because of this do not destroy it on load uh, piece of code. So I hope that wasn't too confusing for you guys. I hope I didn't move too fast. Um, again, I'll go over it one more time of what we did today. Is we can create a brand new character. So we're going to say, I'll call him Brand. I'll call him Brand New. He'll be a mage. And when I hit Create, it creates the new character for us. And it saves all the information uh, on the computer. When I hit load, it's going to we change to a different scene and it's going to load that character. So and it, and it outputs it in the console. So we loaded the brand new character. It's level 1, 12. All the stats are the same exactly what we wanted so we know we're loading it. And that's it for today. Uh in the next video like I said, I'm going to start covering uh player prep seri uh, serialization so that we can save uh binary strings and player prefs and stuff so and then we're going to move on to actually creating save files so i hope you guys found this useful please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time